how much will your life improve if you could function like an ai i don't know if you've seen the newest version of chat gpt called the chat gpt 4 the one that has the interactive voice feature it is so good at communication that people just can't stop talking to it well certainly this software has some superhuman characteristics but if there are certain aspects that you can copy and apply in your life especially when it comes to your relationship with other human beings how masterful and irresistible will that make you i've seen many people make several jokes that with the advent of this new chat gpt 4.0 they might not even be needing boyfriends or girlfriends anymore simply because the ai tool is so comfortable to talk to making it irresistible to them now you have to understand how incredible that is because these are people from different countries different nationalities different ethnic groups different upbringing different cultures different languages different zodiac signs different individual personality traits different love languages and yet for some reason this ai tool is able to make all these kinds of people feel so comfortable relating with it and talking to it and being irresistible to all of them what that means is that if we can identify some of those key characteristics that chat gpt uses in its communication and you learn it as a human being people will perceive you to be trustworthy you will be so comfortable to talk to they will feel safe around you and might give you some of even their biggest secrets or even treasures it almost sounds like a hack you can use to control people and make yourself irresistible to them and this can be your partner somebody you are negotiating with your colleagues at work or any person in general that you have any form of interaction with and the greatest part is it works despite their temperament their culture upbringing personality trait zodiac signs or whatever it may be it works for every human being so let's dive right in and find out what these crucial characteristics are about chat gpt4 that humans are able to adopt and that you can learn and it will make you irresistible to other human beings that you relate with the first one proving that you are listening watch this video carefully and see if you notice anything very interesting so my friend uh, barrett here he's been having trouble sleeping lately and uh, i want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love oh a bedtime story about robots and love i got you covered if you've not noticed it i want to give you another chance so go back and replay that portion and see if you notice anything interesting when chat gpt was asked to tell the story it could have proceeded straightforward to just answer and tell the story but no it rather repeated what the gentleman just told it before going ahead a bedtime story about love and robots was what it said before going ahead watch that portion again bedtime story about robots and love bedtime story about robots and love this is a technique that customers service representatives used to if you ever called your network provider and ask them to resolve any issue that you have they always repeat what you told them you could say something like oh hello there my data is not turning on and instead of just going ahead to give you the different things that could be wrong with your phone or your network they would actually pause and ask you oh if i heard you correctly you said your data is not working sorry about that blah 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 we can help you resolve this by doing this and that they always repeat what you said back to you why is that important apart from simply verifying the information that you are giving them repeating some of the words that you've used back to you would make you feel very listened to very heard and comfortable you may not notice it but it works on your psyche and it has an impact on you subconsciously now what can we learn from this always show proof of listening whenever you're in a conversation you have to understand that chat gpt does not have a body and so repeating certain words back to you is its best way of making you feel listened to and understood and going by its method whenever you want to give a reply to anybody learn to acknowledge their submission in some form before going ahead to say what you want to say but because you are a human being and you have a body you can take this one notch higher because you can add your body language as proof that you are actually listening to the person who is talking to you additionally you can intermittently use words like oh really wow i see 
to reassure the speaker that you are actually paying attention to what they are saying now you may not notice how important this tip is but i've noticed it in real life because there was a gentleman in one of the places i've worked before who mastered this let's call him t because his name begins with a t one day i sat back and wondered how come this guy is so loved by everybody like everybody wants to hang around him somebody can actually start working today and by tomorrow they're already asking of t oh where is t I, there's something i want to tell him now the reason i had to sit back and wonder and ponder over this is that i felt the same way for some reason he was the best person i shared my ideas with and i felt very comfortable around him so i decided to observe how he goes about his communication and i noticed in my subsequent conversations with him that you would always give useful feedback at every point in my talk with him almost after every sentence that i make he'll say something interesting i realized that that made me feel heard and listened to and i figured that is how he makes everyone feels and so it's like he's irresistible to everyone whenever he comes to work everyone is happy that t has come to work so this is really crucial as theodore roosevelt once put it people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care stephen covey the author of the seven habits of highly effective people also once said seek first to understand and then to be understood so always show proof that you care about the other person by giving them signals that make it clear that you are paying attention to what they are saying show them tangible proof of this and watch how irresistible that makes you by the way this is ek inspire youtube channel and on this channel what we do is extract crucial life lessons from important life stories if you are watching on youtube and you're new hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we post a new video you're going to get notified one of the videos we shot recently was on the life of the Nigerian football player Ademola Lukman. This gentleman went from a childhood where his family could not provide food every time to a superstar and we extracted five crucial mindsets he adopted along the way that helped him achieve all his goals that are still counting. It was an incredible one. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can just click right here to watch that video for yourself. Back to the video. One crucial characteristic of ChatGPT that you can adopt to make you irresistible is speaking the language of the other person. And by this, I don't mean English or French or Spanish, but I mean speaking to people at the level of understanding that they have. Watch this video of ChatGPT explaining a math concept to a young boy who didn't understand the concept fully. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, I'm not totally sure. I think I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle out. Now, keep in mind that ChatGPT is able to solve advanced mathematics but see how it brings down itself to the level of understanding of this boy in order to be able to explain the concept to him one step at a time this made the boy not feel intimidated it made him feel comfortable it made him able to express himself very well and it makes child gpt a tool that he would always want to come back to because he feels very comfortable around it now what can we learn from this you will be able to have great conversations with people and be irresistible to them when you're able to connect with them at the level of understanding that they have now when i say level of understanding i don't also mean just cognitive ability or intelligence it also means the emotional state that a person is in for instance when you go visiting a friend who just lost their parents there are certain things you shouldn't say at that point in time because of the state of mind that they are in you don't go there cracking certain jokes you have to meet them at their level of reasoning at their emotional state if you can get good at identifying the state of mind that people have or their emotions pay attention to that and meet them at that level with your conversations people will love to always be around you they themselves might not even be able to explain why they like your company so much you'd usually catch them saying things like there's just something special about this guy 
or I just feel so good talking to her. They might not put a finger on it, but that is what the power of meeting people at their level of understanding can do. Number three, one outstanding chat GPT trait that can make you irresistible if you adopt it is how it precedes negative feedback with positive ones or how he leads every negative feedback he wants to give with a positive one watch this video very carefully in this video a gentleman is pretending to be going for an interview and is shabbily dressed for it and chat gpt has the job of showing this gentleman what he is doing wrong and what he needs to change but see how he goes about it so i'm just gonna throw this on what do you think <laughs> Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. Though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay. Now, if you notice, ChatGPT did not just go right ahead giving the negative feedback that, oh, your hat doesn't look nice, your hair is not well done and all that. It found something positive to say about his choices and then went a step further to make him understand that some of the things he has going on are not actually fit for purpose. This made the gentleman very receptive to everything ChatGPT was saying. He didn't feel criticized. He just felt that he was given use useful information although it was negative feedback now what can we learn from this negative feedback is mostly rejected when it is not preceded by a positive one what that means is that if you don't package your messages well especially when it's negative feedback it is very likely that the message will be lost this is because most people are not able to take feedback that is negative feedback that is not oh you are looking nice you are doing well you are this that and that and all those positive things whatever it's negative and it's something they need to improve people get defensive and so if you don't package your negative messages well for them oh boy they will throw it right in your eyes so imagine the same scenario that was shown in the chat gpt video you just saw going something like this in real life and in real life i mean with another individual hello i'm going for a job interview can you give me a feedback on how i look and then the other person says come on you can't look like this for an interview your hair is not done your dress is not nice you didn't even press your shirt no this is not this is not good you need to change all this instantly so that's the first one imagine how that will be received some people might have the heart to take that form of negative feedback but other people will simply feel disappointed or even get defensive about their looks but compare that with saying something like this instead hey how do you think I look for this interview? And then the other person says, Oh, you look great. Your hair is perfect. It's just that your shirt is not too official and your hat too may need some work done on it. Can you work on that? At the end of the day, in both scenarios, the feedback is a negative feedback overall. But simply leading the second scenario with a positive feedback first makes the person open up themselves. It melts their heart, prepare the fertile ground in them for you to plant all those feedbacks that they need to improve on. It makes a world of difference leading negative feedback with positive ones. And this is important if you're able to implement it because people around you will not feel judged by you even when you tell them what they are not doing right they will feel comfortable talking to you and always being with you or in other words it simply makes you irresistible to them so learn it and thank me later number four chat gpt has one interesting behavior that will make you irresistible to other human beings you relate with if you learn and apply it and that is it always confirms whether there is anything else that needs to be done at the end of every session what i mean is if you finish having a conversation with chat gpt or it finishes giving you answers to certain issues that you've raised or certain tasks that you've given it to do it doesn't just say bye bye and it ends there it will always ask you so is there anything else i can help you with this once again is a technique that is used by customer service representatives you call your telco asking them to resolve an issue for you and when it's done they don't say oh thanks for calling bye bye they'll say oh Eben, um thanks for calling but is that is there any other issue we can help you with today or that is it and when you say that's it that is when they now go ahead to hang up the phone what's interesting is that sometimes it's after they ask you if there is any other issue that you remember that oh yeah um you even wanted to ask about your fixed fiber broadband or 
another package they have that you wanted to buy so it may seem like a minor act just asking if there is more but it can be a game changer now what can we learn from this before wrapping up with any task you are performing for anybody always ask if there is anything else you can do to assist this is applicable whenever you are in a position of serving another person so some great examples are kids helping their parents around the house employees who are working for their bosses team members who are helping a team leader undertake some project or a speaker who is delivering useful information to an audience now let me tell you why this is so crucial i have done this several times and i tell you i am mostly surprised by the turn of events let me give you one quick example so just recently i was conducting a training on blogging for an organization so when i was done i asked if there were any questions and a few came and i answered them so i was about to close the meeting when it struck me that no confirm if there is any other thing so i asked oh are you guys sure that is all but i even took it one step further by insisting that they have to give me three more questions before i close the session you won't believe the questions that were asked so this allowed the audience to dig into their minds into the notes they had taken and come up with some issues that they had that were about to leave unattended to and the questions they asked when i insisted brought out a whole new revelation that we would have all missed i would have missed out on getting across to them and they would have missed out on obtaining that valuable information and so because i insisted on asking if there were any other issues now i look more interesting at the end of the presentation but that is just one example the attitude of seeming to always be ready for the next task makes you an irresistible team player or follower because when you are like that everybody wants to work with you especially superiors on the surface it may look like you are inviting more work on your desk but the advantages far supersede that disadvantage as thomas edison once said opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work most people have the attitude of looking for an opportunity to avoid working and so if you position yourself to be the direct opposite who seems to be asking for more work asking for anything else you can do to assist help the project get completed on time and all that your value will shine through the masses and you'll be irresistible to people especially people who are in the position of promoting you and giving you more responsibilities that they can trust you to deliver on more often than not this attitude will make you rise through ranks very fast in fact at a pace that will amaze many people and shock even you because you will always be seen as a productive person who is ready and always willing to get the job done even if it requires you to go the extra mile so number five you will become an irresistible human being if you can learn chat gpt's habit of taking note of details in previous conversations actually this is a bit tricky because at this point in the development of chat gpt it is not programmed to keep certain personal information that you give to it so sometimes in a different session of your conversation with it you might need to provide certain information that you provided previously however depending on the kinds of prompts that you give chat gpt it can learn your user behavior and tailor its subsequent responses in subsequent sessions to suit the style that you always prefer this makes it easier engaging with it because you won't always have to explain yourself give the exact same information every single time for it to get a job done for you and let me ask you this if you had the option of choosing between two softwares one that is able to learn your user behavior so you don't have to explain yourself every single time for it to get a job done and the other one that you have to provide all the information all over again every single time that you are dealing with it which one will you go for the former right yeah i thought so so what can we learn from this make it a point to take note of details that people give you in conversations and use them in subsequent engagements with them as this will make you irresistible for the most part irresistible meaning they will always want to come back to you they want to hang around you and they can't even explain why but let's not lie to ourselves we are human beings we are not chat gpt we can't remember everything that people tell us but guess what i once had a supervisor from ukraine who used this and made herself so irresistible to me and many of my colleagues well this was not the only thing she used but in one instance i woke up one morning started work and got a message from her 
what does the message say happy birthday to your mom my mom yeah today is her birthday how did you know that because i myself i was busy that morning it had escaped me that oh yeah um today was my mommy mommy's birthday i would have remembered it along the line but as of that morning i had forgotten how did she find out that it was my mother's birthday i asked her later and what she told me was that i said it once in a conversation and she took note of it she put it in her calendar and set a reminder that on the day of my mom's birthday she will extend her wishes to her that was heartwarming and i was flabbergasted to put it mildly so the point is you don't have to commit it to memory that is everything people tell you but if you can make it a point to pay attention take note of certain details that they give you and use it to surprise them later or just use it casually in another conversation with them you see how interesting that makes you and how irresistible you become because they will always want to be around you that has been it for today five remarkable traits from chat gpt that will make you an irresistible human being if you can adopt and apply it in your life and to the people that you hang around with let's recap it quickly the first one was that you should prove that you are listening by showing tangible proof of this it could be giving replies intermittently when the, the other person is speaking your body language or simply repeating certain words that they've used back to them when they are done speaking this makes you very interesting to them because they feel very listened to when they come to you and it makes you irresistible second thing learn to speak the language of the other person and by that i mean learn to speak at their level of understanding depend on your audience there are certain jargons you shouldn't even use you should speak at the level of understanding of the person that is listening to you and that will make you very interesting to them and irresistible as i like to put it number three negative feedback is mostly rejected when you don't lead it with a positive one so always learn to make sure that you don't throw away all your advice because you did not package it properly with some positive feedback first people get defensive and throw away what you tell them when it's just negative but if you package it with a positive wrapper which is a positive feedback oh boy they will be so glad that you give them that feedback and they'll be so open to apply whatever you tell them number four always ask if there is more you can do whenever you find yourself serving another person this makes you very interesting and makes you outstanding because most people are looking for a way to avoid work and so if you are the only person that is asking if there is more work it makes you very interesting and you can apply this whenever you find yourself in a position where you are offering some form of service to another person and it will make you irresistible because they will always want to come to you number five take note of details that people tell you and use it in subsequent conversations and see how interesting that makes you and see how irresistible Irresistible that makes you. So that has been it for today. Until I see you again in our next video that is already being prepared. Remember that life always gives us episodes of chaos and peace. But after each episode, you should pause and ask yourself, what can I learn from this?